Okay, hi. I'm Joey. I'm from Mount Michael. Uh, and this poem features words uh, by Edith Piaf. I noticed the crumpled body discarded on the icy cobblestones before I noticed how neatly she combed her hair. I see not her carefully brushed makeup, but the ghastly white cheeks and the strangled bluish eye sockets that lie underneath. Bobby and a frantic French nurse rush to check her vitals. Fixed pupils, a stiff tongue, a black and purple ring around the victim's neck. Bobby says fixed pupils mean bad news, bleeding out the brainstem. Underneath the silent Père Lachaise chestnut trees, every tombstone is an onlooker. Opiates littering the concrete suggest an obvious suicide. Her Adidas sneakers were perfectly white and uncreased. She wore a wedding ring on her left hand. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Sometimes I question why I continually live in nostalgia of a bygone era that never really existed. Waking in the fuzzy space between camera film and record needles, Continually waking in the fuzzy spe space between camera film and record needles. Floating through my head like background music. Sometimes I question why I live in constant nostalgia of a bygone era that never really existed. Continually waking in the fuzzy space between camera film and record needles, a realm of infinite sadness and joy, only found in the surreal placid stillness of bleary-eyed Sunday afternoons. Continually floating through my consciousness like background music. Oh God, sorry guys, dang, I had this earlier. I'd had it perfectly, I promise. Yet it is here that I always find myself, stepping outside the boundaries of matter, Somehow pinballing around behind the scenes like a manic Billy Pilgrim, unstuck in time. It's 1984, the year Bobby graduated high school and met my mother. But it's 2017, and I never pictured people gathered like this to hear me and my friends play. 35, 40 or more writhing bodies packed into a brick-walled, stone-floored Dundee basement. A timeless teenage cliche of cigarettes and drunken ecstasy. Raw, uncut, fiery emotion burning black backwards into oblivion. And this needle-thin frame, no matter, how, no matter how fleeting, means the world to me. It isn't Hendrix or Page or Gilmore. It isn't the ska punk that brought my dad to the ranch bowl when he was my age. It's music written by my own two ears, singing verse endlessly across the decades. And the crowd shifts. Gone are the smiling faces and warm revelry. Fixed pupils. Here, the hovering crowd is sparse, gray, and distraught. Bobby says fixed pupils mean bad news. On January 2nd, 2018, I saw a woman die in the largest cemetery in Paris at 11 o'clock in the morning. Celle oui pour moi, moi pour lui dans la vie. Il me l'a dit la jour et pour la vie. Yeah. <laughs>